What's up, everybody? Mr. Play Dr. Gaming here. Back with another video for y'all today. And today we're going to be looking at Diablo 4 Season of Blood trailer. And after we look at the Season of Blood trailer, we're going to go over everything new that is coming to the new season of Diablo 4. So, no further ado, let's get right into it. It started small. Nameless people that no one would miss. Dead. Discarded. Their throats torn open. Dude, one thing I can say about Diablo 4, they need to give their own cinematic trailer, a cinematic department, uh, like, uh, a block. They need to know how to make a good cinematic for real for these seasons. I know, I know it'll probably be just like the same thing, but with like a few just different mechanics and stuff, like a few added stuff. But god damn it, do they know how to make a trailer? The church ignored the killings. Even as fear mounted like the bodies. The desperate and the brave fought to end the corruption. But they were too late. It changed them. <laughs> Bro, it look creepy as shit, dude. Like, why we can't have this type of stuff in Diablo 4? Like, just pure horror. Cause, dude, this is the stuff of all nightmare. Honestly, I just found I just found a video thumbnail. Killed them. Brought them back. Hungry. I have fought this plague a long time. We need something different. A survivor with all of their strengths and none of our weaknesses. Someone unexpected. Do honorably the little girl the little girl is more scarier than the than the grown monster. I don't know why. But it seems like when it comes to like horror shit, it always the little girl that be the most scariest. And they'll never see you coming. Of course, of course they're gonna kill the kid off stream. Of course. In the realm of darkness, we are the beacon of light. Let our stakes pierce through the hearts of the damned. For tonight, we hunt. Now, I gotta admit, that was kind of lazy, because you know what they basically did with these new, um, quote-unquote vampires? They basically did the same thing with the malignant heart. These are nothing but vampire mobs, but upgraded with different color schemes. That's basically it. It basically the same mobs, but with different coloring. That basically it. So anyway, that's an ad. Honestly, this game P2. I can't. I I'm gonna talk more about this later on. But anyway, yeah, Diablo 4: Season of Blood coming out October 17th. So yeah, that was a, that was a pretty neat trailer. Honestly. But now, since the trailer done, we gonna go and we gonna go to the Blizzard patch note and see what really comes with this season. So just let me make our way to the um Blizzard patch. I mean the Blizzard form. So anyway, let, I meet y'all there. Okay, guy, I'm back and we at the home page where Blizzard is discussing everything that gonna be in Diablo Four season two. So anyway, let's see what all new stuff that coming in, in this season. Season of Blood will introduce a new quest line. So we got a season, a new seasonal quest line. I, I believe they're gonna be like a theme. So basically, the seasonal quest line is basically flushing out the uh, story of Diablo Four. Everybody knows that after you defeated Lilith, you get to play the malignant see the the malignant on um, seasonal quest line, and so it probably gonna be the same thing from here. So, there ain't really nothing new. The seasonal quest line is kind of great. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of enjoy it. It's more story. It kind of flesh out the world a little bit. 
So I kind of welcome the seasonal quest line every season. So yeah, we got a new seasonal quest line coming up. Okay, vampiric powers. So we're gonna have more powers to choose from in season two of Diablo Four. So it's gonna be like the malignant heart system. Instead, we ain't gonna be using malignant heart. We just gonna be using like vampiric powers, I guess. I don't know what though a power gonna entail, up, but I hope that be more enthusiastic than the malignant heart. The malignant heart by themselves wasn't too bad, but I hope the vampire the vampire power powers add even more complexity to the gameplay. I'm just saying. This is why I'm really getting excited right here. Five additional in-game bosses with the ability to target civic unique and uber unique item as a drop and more. So that's why I'm really excited about is that we getting new in-game bosses. This is one of my biggest pet peeves about the in-game bosses. But about Diablo 4, they, they were no, and there were not enough in-game bosses in Diablo 4. So I'm glad they kind of fixed that issue with the lack of bosses, bosses in Diablo 4. Because I don't, because I don't think the seasonal, the seasonal bosses we had this season in Uber Lily was enough of an in-game boss, and all the other dungeon bosses are a joke. So I'm glad to see that they're adding more in-game bosses. I hope they I hope they continue to add in game bosses until we just got like a whole heap of bosses we can just fight. So I think that's a very, very good change. And also right here with the thing with my mouse hit, renown reward. Reward with care over when completed on any prior character beyond altars of Lilith and map discovery, including potions potions, charges, skill points. An orbital cap upgrade and paragon points. So renown is gone. We don't have to worry about renown no more. So that's a that's also a positive about Diablo 4 season of the season of the blood. Is that renown has been completely reworked. More effective inventory management for gems. So we getting more gems. So we're getting gem slots, paragon points, and all the other stuff will carry over from season to season. Without having to worry about grinding out renown, so you don't have to, so you just had to grind out renown one time, and you get all the reward that's associated with renown. I think that's very, I think that's a very good thing. And there have been updates to the elemental resistance, resistance, which there there had to been an an updated elemental resistance system because the previous system, your elemental resistance was just not working at all. So they made improvement to the um, elemental resistance system, and vulnerable old power critical damage has been updated. So probably they gonna make it where overpower would be more more useful, and they probably gonna nerf vulnerable or critical strike, or they gonna change how vulnerable and critical strike work, because vulnerable and critical strikes are basically the most dominant damage modifier in Diablo 4 right now like you cannot rock no build or build would not live up to a full potential if it had if it, if it don't have vulnerable vulnerable is such an important stat to have is that vulnerable become priority number one because it's just so useful so I'm glad to see that they are reworking vulnerable old power and critical strikes so that's a major improvement right there and like I said, like I said, um, gems are no longer gonna take up an inventory space, and stash can be searched and filtered. So that's another good thing. So I can say Diablo Four Season of the Blood is gonna be and gonna make the game better in the long run. I think the Season of the Blood looks very promising, and I cannot wait to play it come October seventeenth. I think Blizzard is now finally listening to Diablo 4 player concerns and complaints, and I, I, I think that's a very really good thing because I love Diablo 4, and I love to see that this game is now taking a better direction than it than it used to be. Season one proved to be a failure, but I think season two is gonna be the real season where Diablo 4 is gonna shine. So anyway, that been it been me, Mr. Play Doctor, with another video. See y'all next time. Peace.